My name is Gunter Pauli. I'm a Belgian who has been living in Japan since 94. An entrepreneur who turned into a very creative thinker, focusing on how to be able to respond to the basic needs of everyone on Earth. Of course, starting with water, which is life. You know, if we are to secure that we lift people out of poverty, that we ensure that everyone has an abundance of water and not a scarcity of water. It's very obvious we have to change the way we're doing things today. And not just change, we have to radically change. And the technologies, but particularly the business model. You know, we have always in an economy a supply and a demand side. And on the demand side, we have to realize that there are complete new ways that will eradicate even the use of fresh water. And if we look at how rice is being farmed today in China, solely using salt water, seawater, how we have in Australia tomato farms that produce drinking water as a byproduct instead of using drinking water, I think we, we come very clear face to face with a completely new set of realities. But on the production side as well, we have to rethink the way we're doing it. In, in Ecuador, we have social housing in bamboo, whereby the production of 40 houses a day requires 2,000 hectares of bamboo to be planted. And the planting of bamboo generates drinking water, because that is what the native bamboos do in the mountains. So housing producing your own drinking water by having a different choice of materials seems like a very strange thing to do, but that is exactly what we require. And how can we, for example, provide whole regions where people are suffering from gastrointestinal diseases due to the lack of quality water? How can we turn that around in regions that are producing drinking water, drinking water for free for the local population? You know, the most important to realize is that water is life. And water is a means to be able to, at the same time, have community, have local industry, have agriculture. If you have no water, you have no slaughterhouse, you have no cheese manufacturing, you have no yogurt, you have no ice cream. And so what we need to do is scream for a new way of approaching this, because unless we come face to face with a hard reality that today we have a dramatic shortage of drinking water and the costs are rising, we must change the way we look at reality. And the only way to do it is to Look at the reality through the eyes of a child. A child who doesn't recognize the problem. A child that comes to this world and only sees opportunities. And that's what I try to present in the blue economy. A, a, a fresh way of looking at the economy where you're not green or just green because you want to save the planet. You want to be blue because when you create unlimited opportunities so we can deploy the best resource we have in the world, which is the creative human mind.